this is the real Tom Rose, and um, the whole point of the circle that they give you here, um, and they're saying that C is a point on the circle and AB is the diameter, all that, that is just, the whole point of that is there's a rule that you need to have memorized which says that if you have a triangle inscribed in a circle where one side is the diameter, then the opposite angle is a right angle. So there, this whole contract is just to say, hey, we're dealing with a right triangle. So I'm going to draw a bigger um, right triangle Actually, let's draw it this way. I'm going to draw a bigger right triangle over here. Right, and I'll put two angles in it, x and y, which we can operate on. They're saying um, sine of x is one-third. So when they tell you this, the sine of an angle, they're giving you the ratio of the sides. We could use one-third. I'm just going to say one and three, which has the same ratio. Um, and they're, what they're asking you for is uh, evaluate sine y. So sine of x is opposite over hypotenuse is one way you can think of it, or the ratio of the sides opposite and hypotenuse for that angle. Um, sine y also has that same concept, except that we have a different opposite, right? We want the opposite from y over the hypotenuse. So we don't know the length of that side, but you can figure that out using the Pythagorean theorem, because remember, this is a right triangle. So 3 squared plus, let's call this, uh, we can't use x, let's call this a. Um, 3 squared plus a squared Oops, sorry. Let's call this a. Um, we, we know that with Pythagorean theorem, we can say 1 squared plus a squared equals 3 squared. Right, so this is uh, a squared equals 3 squared is, is 9 minus 1, which is 8. So a, therefore, equals, um, what is that for, 2 root 2? So now they, we want what, sine y? Sine y is opposite, which is a over three, which is two root two over three. That's the ratio. And we're looking for an answer twist that says that, and we've got one right there. 